TRS Clips, the place you arrive at if you just want the best bits of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. I've been beginning to read the Gita lately. Hmm. And there was this one part of the Gita I read where they spoke about lower beings than yourself, which is animals, you know, because they don't have a sense of uh, consciousness. They, they kind of run their life by instinct. So that's Correct. a lower form of life. True. Then there's equal life, like human beings. Uh, and then there are also higher life forms which you may not be able to perceive Absolutely. because you're still evolving. People need to understand even God is a creature that's still evolving. Of course. Uh, so what do you think of these higher beings around us? Uh, because I'm sure that spiritual progress in the long term does unlock certain facilities in your head. In the same way that one of the siddhis or superpowers of long term meditation or yoga is that you become calmer. Your focus increases. There's sure. science that backs all that. Sure, sure. Why? Absolutely. Because only lately has research been started in those fields. Probably in the last 20 years, people have discovered meditation. Now, all of America is talking about it. CEOs are talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I have to meditate. I have to get my meditation in. I have to do my transcendental meditation. Absolutely. Because that's what cultural... Power hype. yoga. You yeah. Know, today it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting into power yoga. Yeah. And and though it sounds a little like, hey, yeah, but they they it's touched them yeah. as well. Imagine how much more there is for science to discover. And, you know, they say that everyone has a God, but they just call it different names. And for some people, science is God. And that's fine. <laughs> True. That's fine. But don't limit yourself to your uh, perception of the world created simply by scientific proof, experiments and research because that's an ongoing process and the best scientists, and we've had scientists on the show, sure. the best scientists are always the best children as well. This, the children yes, inside them absolutely. are still alive and they're first imagining the science before they're going chasing it. True. So keeping all this in mind, sir, I want to ask you about those higher beings, like because you have so much spiritual study, sure. and I'm, I'm. Something tells me you even ask those allegories about higher beings. Two things: one, there are higher beings, hundred and one percent, and why I say that is because, like, we are in our journey towards evolving spiritually, Ranbir. Um, there are these people who have obviously it's like you know karate. We join karate, martial arts, and uh, we start with the white belt then whatever, yellow, green, look at it that way. So we are all into karate. Now there are some who are not into karate. You know, you talked about uh, animals. Uh, there are some humans who are also low beings. Mm. Uh, when I say low beings, not in an insulting way. They do not understand um, how important it is to maybe do a little meditation, etc. Then come us, we, we understand, we are practicing. We are probably reached the green belt of martial arts. You're talking about the black belts. And then there are dance. If you've done mm. karate, you have, I did a little bit. So you have this first dan after black belt. You know, I remember you interviewed uh, Shaolin master, for yeah. example. Yeah. They reach. So that way there are beings. Now the beautiful part about this Ranveer is you can see them in different forms. Now you may wonder what am I talking about? You may see them, Ranveer, in forms which are really exciting. Like, wow, you know, they'll be in an orange robe. When you see, you'll feel the aura. So they're called swamis or yogis. They're higher beings. Now, there are beings even higher than that who don't even need a physical form. But can we understand that? We can't because their vibrations are too advanced for us. Can we feel the frequency of a bat which uses its sound uh, as, a, as an echo to... Can, to see, imagine the science in that, isn't it? Mm. So sometimes I feel they're also pretty high beings because they're using, look at the whales, how they communicate uh, from beneath the water. I'm bringing these dimensions, Ranveer, for the viewers only because there's so much that we don't know. Yeah. So there are higher beings because of their spiritual powers. They don't even need a physical body. And you come and, and they're called astral beings. Mm. They're, so when you go to places like Himalayas, you come across these astral beings. If you're tuned to it. Mm. So if I, I say to my friends or people like you who I meet is if you have even the slightest spiritual bent, then please go to Kailash, Mansarovar. There could be other places, but since I've been there, you will feel certain vibrations. Mm. Ranveer, my life transformed while I was there. You're not the first person on this podcast to say that. So just imagine. And I don't, I say this with complete honesty that when I came back and I'm not trying to project anything, I'm telling you factually, I started painting. Mm. I started writing poetry for God's sake. I used to fail in English in school. I started writing. Something opened up and 
enjoin that with the fact that I was initiated into Mantra Japa by my guru, long time back. So what I'm trying to tell you, Ranveer, is that the evolution of a person, as you very beautifully said, from, say, the lower being, uh, the normal being like us, the higher being, and then there are beings, mm. and then there are aliens who are advanced. If you read the book towards the end, there's uh, Subhu, the protagonist is sitting at a lake in the Himalayas towards the end, okay? And that Mahagori is sitting beside him and he sees this whoosh, a light. And the Mahagori says, ha, I think this Aghori is now, he's, he's coming in. Mm. <laughs> and, and, and let me be very frank with you, though people may find it, they'll, they'll get intrigued and I want them to is, there are certain higher beings who can even travel from earth to other places. Or there are beings who have traveled from other places to earth. Mm. And uh, it's a different realm, which for me creates a supreme excitement. Yeah, same. And if I can say this at the risk of, again, sounding a little negative, but for me, or to me, death is not something that I would, uh, and don't feel I'm arrogant, I'm just saying very factually, death doesn't for me mean it's sorrow. Yeah, same. Death is only a process where the soul, for whatever reason, decides that I've had, you know, done, I'm done with it. I need to go to another, uh, into another body or into another realm. Mm -hmm. I personally feel that uh, when my time comes, I only pray that it happens peacefully. Because when it happens, it's when the negotiations take place between the soul and the higher force. Mm -hmm. I can't control that. But whenever it happens, I hope that I don't have to come back here. I, I get a chance to explore another planet. Because it is true that we are not the only place in this universe which has life. There are places beyond and there are therefore beings of different uh, spiritual advancements. When I say spiritual, they know so much more about life. Mm. You know what we think? Oh my God, he levitates. Oh my God. For somebody, they are just walking in air all the time. Mm. What you said earlier, right? Long time back, people would have said, are you crazy planes? Come on. Oh, ye to nahi hota hai. this is not hundreds of years ago. Today, there are, uh, you know, different kinds of planes. Today, we think, spiritually speaking, um, oh, he can sit in meditation for so many hours. Well, somebody, somewhere else at a higher level, for them, sitting for a year in meditation is nothing because they lose track of time. Mm. They don't understand. See, we think it's one hour. You know, a question which I want to put to you is, who has decided the distance between the two seconds? Yeah. I mean, I'm not putting this as no, an arrogant no. question. I actually want to know. One, between one and two, there's a distance, right? Mm -hmm. One, tick, tick, two. Why is it one, tick, tick, two? Why not one, tick, tick, two? Or why not one, tick, tick, two? What if there's an hour between the two seconds? So when you go beyond, when you get into certain spiritual realms, time and space, they don't, they're not the same as what it is here. Yeah, yeah. It may be pleasantly complicated as we're speaking about this, but these are the beautiful uh, explorations yeah. that actually motivated me to, uh, you know, write about all this. Yeah. You know, even the world of astrophysics has not figured out time at all. Like, yeah. and they've just created this entity called time yeah. for the sake of convenience for all the other equations in terms of, okay, here's this one thing. We don't know what it means. We don't know the nature of it, but we're going to use it while proving the other aspects of the universe. Absolutely. Absolutely.